right, folks. Welcome to Radon World. What are we doing today? We are looking at salvaging a system that a homeowner installed himself. And uh, no, I'm not going to poop all over it. You know, he just did the best he could at the time. And they're selling their house, and it came in at around five or so. And of course, you know, we want to get you down below four. So this right here is his exhaust. And there's a crawl space. He used three inch pipe. We like to use four. Um, and it. He's got some 90s, and of course, you, if you watch my videos, you know we prefer 45s. They're gonna save us on uh, airflow. 90s cut off airflow quite a bit. All right, so that pipe goes like so under this addition, and then down into the home. And uh, I'll take you there now. All right, and the plot thickens. I uh, saw Mama Robin. There she is, way over there. We're not going to hurt the egg, but she's concerned, and this is a factor. We'll figure it out. So, this is how he treated his home. He installed it like so. So putting fans inside the home like this uh, is, is not what you want to do. It's, it's legal in uh, Canada, but it's not so much in uh, the United States. So if you can kind of have yourself oriented over there's the crawl space and it makes its way out. So we're going to see what we can do to get this system um, up to snuff and uh, get his uh, radar levels reduced. Okay, so it is game day and we are going to bring this system up to snuff. Um, so some tips that I like to use. This is an icky, muddy quagmire. So, uh, as you know, I'm a drop cloth freak, but that's just going to make my drop cloths filthy. That's why I like to recycle or reuse. Uh, these are just cardboard boxes from my fans, so they come in handy. Um, so we're going to use that, a little black plastic, then the drop claws, and then we'll go up under there and work our magic. So now we're going to check on our little buddy, see how we're doing there. So upon closer inspection, it's two baby birds and they're both alive. Um, if you're not used to seeing baby birds, it, uh, it took a little closer inspection to determine that. So they're alive, and there's not one, there's two of them, and uh, we'll, we'll try to figure out how to work around them. Okay, so we are back in this crawl space, and I'll show you a couple of things that I've that are on my mind. We want to get the slope right, and of course I've crawled all the way back here, and I don't have my level. That thing that I tell you I just can't live without and I always use. Shut up. Alright, and uh, so we want to, we hate 90s. We can't stand them. So we want to change those. And there's a bunch down there as well. So uh, if we can get those 90s out and get it elevated properly, replace them with 45s. Uh, we'll be making considerable headway there. I went to a jewelry shop one time and I saw a sign on the wall. It said, hourly rate is $25 an hour unless you tried to fix it first. <laughs> That's kind of what this deal is like. Because the homeowner did what he did over 20 years ago, uh, it may not be code, but they've They've lived in a home that's been drastically reduced in radon levels because he took the initiative to do something. And so I applaud that. All we're doing here is getting them over a legal hump, more, more or less. They had a home inspection. This is a real estate transaction. And it just it came in at like five or six. The home inspector pointed out that some things weren't up to code. So that's all we're here to do. Just make it a little more better.
All right, so what's our favorite song? It's all about that fan, about that fan, about that fan. So, it'd be lovely if we could utilize this hole here and uh, not reinvent the wheel. So, it is tight. I don't know. Hopefully we can make this go. Uh, yeah. I just don't know, folks. This is this is what everything, the whole show is based off of. You gotta mock that fan up so you don't drill holes and find out the hard way that you goofed up. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, so we want to be thinking a couple steps ahead. I try to usually have colored pipe on hand, but I'm gonna go ahead and convert that one as well. I'll do earth tone systems. That'd be brown um, and then gray uh, and then white. Those are the three uh, colors that I'll, I'll customize systems for. I've had pretty good luck with those. So this is obviously a brown one today. That's gonna be the path that we're gonna be running up from underneath there. So we just wanna have everything dry. We don't wanna um, let that sneak up on us when it, when it comes time. So this is what's been working for me. I uh, use paint and primer in one. Works on plastic. Had pretty good luck with it over the years. All right, so in order to make this thing fly, I'm having to uh, customize, that's a fancy way of saying, trim down these couplings. It'll be just as effective. And it's, it's looking like two and a half inches just might save the day. I've also got a little bit of pressure because Mama and Daddy Robin have been trying to feed their baby birds here and I keep scaring them off just by being here. So that's a little bit of pressure on me. Um, anyway, we're just trying to make do the best we can. All right, so now that I'm reasonably confident that I can make this original location work for the fan, you recall the fan is on the inside of the house. Um, now we're going to try. Well, we're not going to try. We're going to succeed. <laughs> we're going to make this uh, long run of line of three inch pipe slope up and out here. So we've got some work to do in here. Let's get at it. I'm feeling pretty stoked. I just came out of the crawl space and reworked all that pipe in there and so this is what we removed 490s one yeah 490s <laughs> it's sunny on my end and we replaced it we got the same thing accomplished with 245s so i don't want to get too technical and mathematic but uh, we can just round that up to a buttload of airflow that we have salvaged. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. Come to the party. We'll have a few drinks. Have a few laughs. The 9 o'clock show is completely different from the 7 o'clock show. Okay, another thing that I'm pretty pickled with is that we were able to maintain the slope I was pretty concerned about that because once you start rejiggering something up here it's gonna translate down there and down there and back in there so I had this I had the <laughs> of course I don't have the level on me but I promise I did when I did this checked every single connection and we're all sloping down and uh, these systems produce condensation and we don't want that trapped anywhere we can all slope back down to the earth so that right there is one of the two robins that's trying to feed the two little baby birds I don't know if you can see he or she has a worm in their mouth anyway I'm trying to give them some space to feed the baby birds at the same time keep this thing on the rails 
Ah, it's not easy being me. All right, so now we've got his uh, old fan removed and we're gonna do away with two more 90s and uh, we're working the hole. Uh, I discovered that, by, well, by ch chatting with him and of course experience here, he never worked the hole. He just penetrated it and then put this mesh screen because he was concerned with sucking stuff up through the fan and let it rip. So um, not much gravel in there, but I'm gonna work it and then seal a better arrangement in there. Okay, so we've got a whole new facelift on this system here. She's purring like a kitten, and uh, we've eliminated 90s again. With can't cut that 90 out, but at any rate, moving moving a pretty good amount of air. I've got a high suction fan on it, and you know, keep in mind the fan is now 35, 40 feet away. So the dynamic has changed, but. Um, we're, we're in a good place now, and it's quiet. All right, let's go outside. So with all these 90s removed from the system, I, I almost feel like I've removed a blockage, quite frankly. All righty, wanted to show you how we ended up here on this one. It's sort of an overcast day, but I'm getting snooty as I make my videos. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's the, that's what we did here. It's powered over there. All right, so there's the uh, electricity junction box. There's an outlet inside the house. This is uh, probably a record conduit run for me. If you look real close right there, there's the bird's nest. And they're still good to go. That worked out just fine. So the birdies are, are just fine. There you go, there you go. There they are, mom and dad right there. They're like, dude, get a life. <laughs> and the fan sitting right there, not too noisy, perfectly accessible, and everything's hunky dory as far as code. Okay, well, I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, this is an unusual one. Uh, I can't recall doing one like that, but I'm glad that we were able to bring everything up to snuff, not reinvent the wheel. I'll be honest with you, that was harder than I thought it would be, and I, I, I didn't charge enough for what I did. <laughs> I kind of felt bad for them because they already had a system in, and it took me more effort to bring that system up to snuff than to put one in from scratch not to put that one in from scratch that that crawl space work was pretty intense but at any rate i hope you picked up something i show you i try to show you the tough stuff uh hey if you like the video give a thumbs up and subscribe i try to put out good content for you all right take care have a good one